Hi everybody, it's Erin from Me Papery and I am here today to start on the cover for my garden collage journal. Um, so I have decided that this is the fabric that I want to use for um, the outside of the cover. And remember this was kind of part of a, a tablecloth with this bright border, which I didn't want. So I, I took and cut this border off. I didn't do a seam ripping kind of thing because I thought if I kept this intact, maybe I could use this as pockets or something later. So I'm just gonna set this aside and that's gonna go into the fabric stash later. Um, so what I've got here is just a nice um, square of plaid fabric. It's kind of linen-y. Um, and so I like, I like that. Um, for the inside of the cover, I have some things picked out. Um, I like this rose paper uh, for the liner. Um, and then I'm gonna do kind of some double pockets, double corner pockets, and I chose the end papers um, from one of my Edith Holden books. And then also this uh, fabric, which has kind of a leafy botanical look to it um, as well. So I think that is gonna be lovely. I'm gonna set these aside. And I've already done a little bit of a head work. Um, I've decided that instead of uh, taking a book cover, I was gonna construct my own this time. Um, so I took a, um, a mailer envelope that's made out of really sturdy cardboard um, and cut that apart. Um, I'm making my journal um, nine by six by two and a quarter. Um, I'm planning five signatures. Um, I've already measured out and kind of punched pilot holes um, for the signatures. I just find that easier once I get to sewing them in. Um, but yeah, so I've already cut that out. I've scored it. It's ready to go. Um, the other thing I've done is I have already cut um, pieces for my interior pockets. Um, so this is kind of the configuration of the pockets that I'm going to do. Um, basically, I wanted a corner pocket that, you know, went almost all the way across the, the panel, but not quite, and it cut off here, and it cut off at the top. The only sides that are going to be attached are the very edges here, um, leaving, you know, all of this open so you should be able to fit quite a bit in there. Um, and then there will be a second pocket um, attached here um, as well. So, and then of course these will be, these will be sewn on. So that is, that is the plan. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Now, one thing about my craft with me, I will have a plan sometimes, but most of the time it is just going to be, uh, stuff just happens as it goes. And that's how I like to do it. For me, the joy in this is the creative process. Um, it's not necessarily the end product, although I do enjoy you know, seeing the end product and I'm proud of what I've done. Um, anyway, I just, it's, I think it's important to um, just kind of go with the flow sometimes and see what you come up with. So um, if that's not your style, there are other channels out there that have like set steps and are gonna explain really well, you know, ahead of time and have exact measurements for everything. That's not gonna be me. Um, but if you are looking to maybe challenge your creative muscles and um, you know, figure out how to be more creative on your own, I, I don't know, um, and, and just kind of more go with the flow style, then that, you are in the right place because there is no plan. Um, so anyway, 
Um, I'm going to start by covering these with the Edith Holden end papers. Um, I have written on each of these sides um, so that I know which side is which. And I might even be able to do this, but then I'm worried about, can I fit both of these on one sheet? Yeah, I think I can. Um, no, no, I can't. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Anyway, well, here's me trying to be really stingy with my paper. Um, and it's like, just, just glue it already, Erin. Um, oh, I need a glue book. Here we go. So I'm just gonna use my glue stick. Um, to kind of get it down there. Um, this is going to get sewn, so I don't need to worry so much that it's going to be a forever kind of stick. Um, I kind of I want to capture this um, this writing, so I'm going to even stick this a little bit in the middle, just because I think that's cool. that I'm gonna let that dry a little bit and then this one for the right side same thing let's give it a nice schlocking of glue and this one I'll cheat more. Today. Sorry about that. My tripod decided to rebel and go rogue on me and just swing my camera all over the place. But um, this one doesn't have anything, any fun writing to capture. So I'm just going to cheat more to the corner on this. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to come back to this other one. Now that that's had a minute or two. Um, and grab my scissors and just trim this. And maybe do a nicer job. There we go. These scissors aren't like super awesome. So I have to clean up some of my cuts, but that's good. Um, these go in my scrap bucket. And I am going to trim this. I mean, I guess I could have used my paper trimmer um, since these are all straight lines. Um, you guys are probably all like, Aaron, you amateur, get out your paper trimmer. That's okay. You can, you can yell at me. Some of this is just getting used to, um, you know, <laughs> talking through everything on camera. I'm getting a little flustered. Um, so I got to hand it to all of you who do this on a regular basis um, and are used to it. Um, certainly not something I thought I would ever do. I'm a very introverted person. I do perform. Um, I'm a singer and a violin player and I used to dance, but to me that is different um, <laughs> than this. I've never been much of a public speaker. So all right so we've got our first two pockets covered and then 
I'm going to set these aside for just a bit. And I wanted to cover these. in this fabric and I think I'm gonna just kind of use them in the corners over here I know I'm creating kind of funky scraps but there's a there's a method to my madness here what I would like to do is I'm going to use my pinking shears to cut it out um, here so it has that that fun in that fun um, fun edge so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so these are gonna go like that and I'm gonna put some glue on this and again these are gonna be sewn so glue stick is gonna work just fine because it's just gonna hold it in place Okay, so I'm just gonna glue these down to the corners like this. And right side. Corners coming up just a little bit which is fine but I'm just gonna it's I'm probably not gonna get to sew these today so I am just gonna put just a little bit of glue down um, to hold that in place Whoop, my pin got stuck in my glue bottle my goodness There we go. Oh, I just pulled the whole needle nose out of my butt. Shoot. What did I do? Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Well, okay, we're just gonna roll with this for a second. Looks like I'm going to need a new needle nose bottle. All right. So now I'm going to take my pinking shears and I'm left handed. So this is always like a bit of a Bit of a hardship sometimes, <laughs> sometimes. Um, but I'm going to take my pinking shears and pink this one just to give it a little something different since the other edges were already pinked. Okay, so there's one and There's two. I'm just gonna snip this little string here. There. Okay, so I move this out of the way. This is what we've got so far. <clears throat> got 
the big pocket, left side, right side, and the little pocket, left side and right side. And these will get, these will get sewn. Now, um, you know, I'm probably gonna embellish these a little bit. Maybe I'll put some lace or something um, on these, or maybe I'll do an edge stitching or something um, on these. I haven't decided yet, so. But for now, these are ready to go. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is cover the inside of the journal cover. And that's where I'm gonna use this paper. So this measures nine by six. So this is a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I'm gonna start by cutting this in half. At six inches. Okay, so then I'm just going to cut the other direction by nine um, on both of these sides and that should fit, let me just make sure, um, should fit the interior, yes, interior front panel on the left side and inches on the right side. Does it fit? Yes. Good. Um, spine. There wasn't enough to get it in one long strip, so the question is, should I just piece it together? And I think I might, um, I mean, it's not really going to be super visible anyway so i'm going to cut both of these down to two and a quarter um, inches i'm just going to measure this just to make sure that that's what it is because yep two and a quarter Just do these one at a time, Erin. Try not to be so impatient. Okay, so let's two and a quarter, strip that away. And two and a quarter, strip that away. do these first. And 
turn it around see if the pattern matches any better it actually matches up exactly so let's do that um, I'm just gonna make a mark so I know like how far I need to glue That's the side I'm gluing. That's the side I'm gluing. Okay. There we go. got all lucky there, didn't we? I'm going to scooch it over just a little bit. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to take my bone folder and just give everything like a really good burnish. glue bottle that's not functioning right now I would normally kind of glue those corners under I don't know what I'm gonna do here with that I do have hmm, I think I'm you know what I'm gonna stop this for a bit and get a new glue bottle okay I'm back with a brand new glue bottle this is what I decant my art glitter glue into these are um, I buy these on Amazon just little plastic needle nose bottles um, when I bought them they were actually listed under vape juice bottles <laughs> but anyway I don't know what they're listed are underneath now because I bought these a few years ago and I just keep a supply for various different things um, there we go oops got away from me here there we go but I like this because it's just easier to get it get into the spaces I want to get into and this makes it really nice to try to travel and um, the cap um, actually does a really great job of keeping the needle nose clear um, the issue I just had with the other one is just I hadn't used the glue in a while because um, I've been doing other things so and that bottle's been in use for quite a while so it was just probably gucky and time to time to switch it so anywho okay we've got the spine covered I'm gonna give this a trim from this side would be better again with the left hand it just seems to there we go and scrap there those are going to be some pretty scraps to use I think um, later okay now for this one left hand side and I'm going to line up 
the bottom edge and we'll lay it down. Grab my bone folder. Let's see if we have better. I'm just going to use the side to give it a good burnish. There we go. Looks good. That seam still. working but it's gonna probably need some reinforcement so we might put some washi or something there um, all right next one and the glue stick that i'm using is an avery brand um washable acid-free avery glue stick disappearing color it is not the the heaviest duty of glue sticks but I like it because it's a little bit goopier um, and not as dry as some of the other ones are um, and I do like the the disappearing color so I see where I've where I've glued um, and it's it's fairly inexpensive um, so if there's something that I don't think that you know it's gonna hold um, I'll switch to my art glitter glue um, for reinforcement or Fabri-Tac or something else that just, you know, is going to do that job better or, you know, I know I'm going to sew it anyway. Um, but for the most part, I have not been disappointed in this. This has done, done a pretty good job. So, there we go. There we go. It's gonna kind of all right. Yeah, I cut those, cut that just a little bit too close there, or placed it just a little bit too close. So let's put, or maybe some ribbon or something. That might be kind of pretty. Let's check and we'll see what we have here. Um, all right, so we've gotten our package of goodies here. Um, I'm looking for something that's fairly soft, a little bit wide. be okay it's white but it's an off-white and what I like about a girl screen is that it doesn't um, it doesn't unravel so badly so maybe we'll just, or is that just going to add more bulk, I wonder? Hmm. Well, might be making a problem worse, you know what I'm saying? Let me think on that. I might just try like a washi tape or something. see what we have in the washi tape bin. My collection's kind of sad to be honest. Um, but there might be a couple in here that would work. Just to kind of give it, like I like these wider ones. And there's a yellow one. Um, I 
love this. These butterfly ones are so gorgeous, but I use them so much. I'm going to run out of them. <laughs> but I do think that's what would be cute here. So let's do that. Um, just kind of tear it to size and then we'll glue it. Put some glue on there. I glue it on kind of crooked. So I am going to peel it up and fix it. There. That's better. This one to size. that one on straight. <laughs> and I think I'm just gonna, gonna put those over the edge for now because I think these will get Russia there. I feel bet I feel better about that. I feel better about that. where that is where we're at now I think for embellishments hmm like I think some lace would be pretty um, on here so let's take a look at our lace And I do have some, you know, some yellow um, and blue lace picked out that I that I like for this project, but I'm thinking something kind of antique looking. Um, like this one might be kind of sweet. Let's see. Let's see what this one does. if we like this oh that's cute that's really cute do we like it better there or there 
I think I like it better here. Okay. Okay. I don't have a lot of this one too, so this is going to be pretty much it, I think. Let's make sure we have. So I've got enough. Might be able to like do one up here, kind of around the edge and down there. Okay. And then one up here. Okay, I think I think I've got enough. I think I've got enough. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna grab my happy glue book and some Fabri-Tac. And we're going to see how successful I am at gluing this lace on <laughs> onto this shape. So I think if I glue it here on that, sh on that, um, we should be okay. Well, let me just kind of I might need to get this open too. Wish me luck that I don't wreck another bottle here. Jeez Louise. There we go. I just needed some air. Start turning the corner on that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this the rest of the way down. There she goes. Pretty good.
you hear Matt meowing at our cat upstairs? <laughs> we have one cat, Rocco, who is, he was Matt's cat before Matt and I started dating. And uh, he is very, very talkative. And he meows at us all the time. And then my cat, Ragnar, is quiet. Um, but he's, he's our snuggler. He loves to snuggle. Yeah. So it's kind of nice. We've got one kind of more playful, talkative one. He's mischievous. And then, and then there's Ragnar. Mommy's little snuggler. He is the cat for people who don't like cats. If you don't like cats, you, you'll love Ragnar. <laughs> He's just such a sweetheart. Unless you're allergic, then you probably won't like Ragnar because he'll he'll want to snuggle with you and you won't want him near you. So, all right. I do still have a little bit of this left for an embellishment later, which works out nicely. So, okay, now let's see what we think. Okay. Okay, that's looking very cute. Still feel like we could use some pocket embellishments though. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, let's see what's in my bag of tricks over here. Um I have one of our e-papery butterflies. That might be kind of cute. Um, let's see. Got some paper doilies. in here. If you guys have watched my um, my thrift store haul videos, you might remember um, seeing me with a package of paper and I, I hadn't opened it yet. Um, and I said, I don't know what's in this, but uh, you know, the colors look decent and I might use this. Well, I opened it up and the whole thing was die cuts and punch outs. So um, let's see what we find in, I have got a, got some things in there and some things from other thing, other kits and whatnot. So we might have some cuteness. Um, Got some of these too. These might be kind of cute. Sorry about the crinkling. Okay, we've got some bees. Um, we've got some flowers. These are nice and big. Um, hmm. <laughs> 
Are these the same? Are these just the opposite side, maybe? No, they're the same thing. Okay. And we've got some birds and another bee and some butterflies. Okay. So I kind of like the look of the black and white. I know that's kind of strange, but I feel like this other one is just blending in too much and it I might need a brighter color. The other option that I've currently got in here. Oh, here's a green. No. Some purple ones, but I don't think I like those either. Okay. No. Um, oh, I do have some. I have some blue butterflies. These might look kind of nice. Let's check these out. Oh, there's different colors. Oh, there's different colors. And of course, like our biggest ones are <laughs> black and white again. Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well, I kind of like, I kind of like that one. And then I also like maybe a bird. I like the bird on that side. I'm weird compositionally. I like it when things face like the interior um, of the journal. So I feel like, um, I feel like I need to put the bird over here and butterfly over there. Okay. So, those back in. Let's see what else I have here. of you know things like this these might be a little I mean that one's a good size but the rest of these might be a little small but I do have others I do have others so, let's see here. one is nearly empty of things because I've been moving things from one to another but there might still be some things in here that I could use it still has all my postage stamps in it um, one either.
go. Let's check in here and see what we've got here. Some little, some little bitties. Ooh, those are kind of pretty. Uh, let's see what else we can get to go with those. I've got also some yellow. See if I can find another yellow one. I don't know why I feel like I have to be symmetrical because I don't, I guess. <laughs> I could put a pink one over there. Um, you know, maybe some... Um, See what else I've got here. I'm looking maybe sir for some this little fabric scraps that might look nice. pieces of my favorite fabric in here. Here. That one's a pretty good size piece. I love this fabric and it's going to pull in that that pink as well. So, I think we might Create us some some clusters to put on these pockets is sort of what I'm thinking. Like those, and I think what I'll do is keep that at the ready and grab me some paper. These are some papers I have put together with my scraps. So I like making clusters and stuff out of these. Um, I kind of like this one. That looks bird bird nesty to me. Does that make sense? All right. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I want something kind of about um, to start out with. All right. 
Yeah, it's a good size. And let's see. And I think I will do. get these like really frayed this fabric was from a set of curtains I bought um, off of Facebook marketplace somebody was getting rid of them and it was just huge set of curtains um, and uh, so it was we're talking several yards of fabric for the price that I paid it was a steal um, and it's just a gorgeous I think I'm gonna try this kind of down here a little bit more maybe kind of off the edge and more like that. Yeah, I think as a base that's good. And then Okay. I'll figure out how to put those on, but I'm going to distress actually with some peeled paint ink. just because I want to bring out the green. There we go. And the same on this other side as well. Ready? And then for the bird and the butterfly, I am going to do a walnut stain. are a little bit glossy so I'm curious if they'll they're they're taking the ink but it's kind of it's pretty light so I'm just kind of brushing over the whole thing with the walnut stain just letting it take on that antique tinge to it. 
Um, and then just using kind of what's left on my sponge to get this flower a little bit. There we go. Here we go, that's better. And I'm gonna cut another piece of this fabric too, so i get this all fringed out. Fringed, frayed, I mean. <laughs> Let's do the side just a little bit more. There we go. There. Okay. Right. Let's see. We'll sink like this one, putting it at an angle. Doing that. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Fabri-Tac schmutzed, it volcanoed. go. That's a little bulky, but I think it's okay for the cover, uh, for the inside cover. So let's get this one done. Thank you. 
my bird. And let's see. cap my fabric tag quick um, and then come back to hold this in place while it while it dries because these these flowers don't have a very flat bottom so okay so, and just, just snip, there we go. Okay, so, here is what we've got. We've got This one would go over here and this one would go over there so that is what the interior of our cover is looking like so far and I think this is where I will cut it off for today and we'll see you soon bye everybody